Naszym kolejnym gościem podczas Intel Extreme Masters Katowice jest Hunter z G2. Hello Hunter, nice to have you here. Nice to have it. Nice to meet you guys first of all. It was a long journey from you guys this year to, to make it to this podek. How do you feel about uh, how do you feel about that uh, yesterday's long run? I mean, after we lost against Hans, it wasn't really easy to recover because they smashed us and we were not feeling really good individually that game. But yeah, I'm really happy how we, how we reacted and we forgot about that game. We tried to fix mistakes as soon as possible and focus for the day after because we knew that it will be a long day if we win the first game. I'm really happy with our reaction and the way we played yesterday and yeah, I'm happy that we went through, through playoffs. As you are the reigning champions of IAM Katowice, do you have like any additional uh, pressure because of that? No, I think it's less pressure if you win it already once because you know you did it once and then yeah, there is no pressure about that. We just we are, we are trying to enjoy to play in front of the fans and that's it. And what will you say about your chances of defending the title? Because you've already shown that you are not that uh, unbeatable that uh, as it was a year, year ago. Yeah, a year ago we were like kind of favorites to win the trophy and we were really, really on top at that time. Now it's different, it's different game, it's different lineup as well and uh, everything is different honestly. So yeah, we need to go step by step. We have three steps more to win the trophy. So I'm just focused on phase now and then if you win phase next game and yeah, I mean, of course, once you go in the playoffs and when you enter the stage, you are trying to, to take the trophy, but yeah, we need to go step by step. As you already mentioned about the lineup, I wanted to talk with you a bit uh, about your new coach, Tas. Uh, how did it actually happen that he ended up in your team? Well, I don't know honestly what happened because one, he surprised us all with his decision because it was mainly his decision that he wanted to, to step out and he didn't want to be coach anymore. So yeah, we were kind of surprised and our management staff, they were like looking for the best option and uh, they asked us about us and we said, yeah, I mean, why not? He has experience as a player, not as a coach, but yeah, he will, he will try to, to grow up every day with us together. But yeah, he can bring some things uh, that can help us as well individually. So how does his, his work with you look like so far? I mean, he's mostly trying to copy what he did before, what we did before mainly, because it was working for us at some points. And then he's trying to add some uh, new things from him. So, yeah, it's working so so far good. Like last uh, group stage, we qualified for London. We didn't play that good, but we still managed to qualify here. We didn't play that well in the group stage, but we still managed to qualify. That's the most important in the end. But yeah, we need to work more to see what, what, what he can do and how he can help us better. Did you change something since his addition? No, not really, honestly. Like, of course, we are trying to to be unpredictable because we know that everybody who is playing against us is watching us, and we cannot do every game the same. Even though you feel comfortable with it, you need to change every every game. And yeah, I mean, that's what we were doing before. Now it's even better with us, I would say, because he has more experience than Swan he had. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. I also wanted to ask about Nexa. Uh, because he is the newest addition in your team, how does he find himself if in this environment, current current environment? I mean, as you know, he was IGL for quite a long time, and then he, what he's trying to do now, he is trying to get used to be a player because it's not easy once you cold and then you just need to get back to to be a player and not talk too much and listen to your IGL. And yeah, after three four years in a row calling, he's just trying to to how to say that, to focus more on himself, to just be, be, be on, on his sides and try to take all timings on his side that he need to take. It's not easy, but yeah, it, I'm really happy with him. He's working a lot and he's trying to, to get there as fast as possible. I already asked Karigan, but I will also ask you, uh, your next matchup is against FaZe and uh, there will be also the additional battle between Taz and Nio as coaches, as the previous uh, teammates from Virtus Pro. Do you have like any additional motivation to win it for Victor? Yeah, I mean, of course, <coughs> so far in Spodek I played like three or four times already in playoffs and we al always have a lot of uh, fans supporting us. And we didn't have any Polish guy in the team. Now we have uh, Victor who is with us. And uh, of course, we'll have extra motivation because of him. But uh, they will have as well face because of Neo. So yeah, I just want uh, the, the, the game to be really good. I want the crowd to enjoy and uh, we enjoy together with them. And that's the most important. And what do you think about the matchup against the face? I mean, we played finals two years ago against them. Like every time we played against FaZe, it, like we, we were playing a lot of good games against each other and I think crowd will enjoy, honestly. And 
it can be both sides like they can win easy we can win easy it can be a really tough game that some team will win 2-1 it all it all depends how we'll wake up and which individuals which uh, how like which team will have more individuals showing up and the last question do you have anything to tell to the polish crowd before the match i uh, nothing like i've been here for for like long time like three three or four times in spodek uh, and i always enjoyed and i played good individually i really enjoy being in katowice and playing in spodek i just want to invite you to come like as much as you can and try to enjoy because we'll 100% enjoy as a players on stage thank you so much and good luck thank you